at my own vehicle. So we are now about to board the plane. Uh, we are from Doha, we are heading over to Edinburgh. So come and join me. Let's explore a little bit of the Hamad airport that is not in the lounge. And then from there, we are gonna be checking in the plane. So this video is all about what's going on in the airport at 6 a.m. in the morning and what it's like checking in my plane. So let's go. Let's go see and explore. Come and join me. So guys, check out what's going on in the airport right now. There's so many people. Just as I'm leaving the airport, a lot of people are starting to enter the lounge. Look at that. That's a lot of people. So guys, I am leaving the lounge just in time. Otherwise, I will be together with the crowd and I don't want that, especially now during the pandemic. So, Hamad Airport is busy at 6 a.m. in the morning. Where do I stay? Uh, yeah. It's light enough. I was told it's a bit far in the lounge. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey okay, guys, I'm... Into Edinburgh, right? Uh, D3, Edinburgh, yes. So, I'm very lucky. I get to. I'm very lucky. I get to take some free transport. It does feel like I have my own driver or chauffeur, so pretty cool. <laughs> Look, it's so busy here. Oh my goodness, check out the airport is so jam-packed with people. the sun is out and you can see it's a beautiful way to start the morning the sun is out so in my previous video I was wheelchaired now I have my own vehicle not bad I'm really enjoying this Hamad airport the service is top-notch <laughs> That's actually another pro tip, just in case your gate is really far where you're coming from, you can get one of these buggies. Obviously it's free of charge and the, the drivers or the chauffeurs will be very, very happy to take you there. And yeah, they just do it out of, out of good service, no charge. Right now there's a lot of people and we just have to inch our way in through the crowd. It feels 
feels a bit strange going through the crowd, but yeah, have a look. We're going through another group of people. Look. I just say if I didn't take this vehicle it would have probably taken me 20 minutes to walk so I'm pretty happy I'm taking a buggy I don't know what you call this but I guess a buggy <laughs> area there's not that much people which is what I prefer Whoa. are we oh. <laughs> very much if I walk that maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes wow <laughs> very fun. thank you I appreciate the help yeah. uh, uh, yes is it already uh, boarding no it's a pre boarding only madam oh, okay, until so the room you have time would you like to go to the washroom I just did. I came from yeah. the lounge. You know, I actually got here at 11 p.m. Oh, okay. A long time. I, you still have to wait like 30 minutes. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, as long as I made it here because I came from the lounge. And if I walk it, I think it's going to take me 30 minutes. So I took I took the buggy. No problem. All right. So where do I, where yeah, do I go from here? Straight. Okay. such a quick um, way of getting here that buggy was so amazing my driver or chauffeur really sped up so I hope you got to see a little bit of the airport right now I am waiting for the plane to be ready for us uh, I think 
I was told about 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna chill out here for 30 minutes and then in a while we are gonna board the plane. So still stick around and let's see what this plane looks like, the business class um, of Qatar Airways en route to Edinburgh. <laughs> 